Baseball fans all over, but especially in this great baseball town, they are mourning the loss of Cincinnati Reds Hall of Famer Lee May. He passed away this weekend at the age of 74. Now, I want you to forget the baseball stats for a moment. Yes, he was a great ball player. But beyond that, family and friends will remember Lee May as one of the best because he was a kind and good man. The word that kind of stuck to me was humble. Um, where we come from, you know, Birmingham, Alabama, and, and Southern hospitality and how you treat people and how you, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated. And I think that's the way my father carried himself. That's Lee May Jr. sharing some personal memories about his father. The awards and photos you see in this room are just a reminder that Lee May was born to play the game of baseball. But the statistics will never tell you the whole story about his impact on the game. There are a lot of major league players that, that you know, from Eddie Murray, you know, and, and, and coming up, up with the, the, the Orioles at the time when he was just breaking through and the guy had a Hall of Fame career. Eric Davis. Um, th there's so many players that, that my father helped break into the league. It was a responsibility that he took on as far as passing the torch and, and helping others along the way. His son told me his father loved Cincinnati from the first time the family arrived here in the late 60s. A couple of years after he was signed by the Reds, the team was in the World Series. Of course, I had to ask about the trade. You know, the one that brought Joe Morgan here and sent Lee May to Houston. When we moved from Birmingham to Cincinnati, um, from that moment then until now, this has been home. So, you know, despite the trade, that was just business. As a part of my father's legacy is how he made people feel when they left. From fans that, that he's touched, you know, that send me, you know, can you have your dad sign this? I met him, you know, when I was in, you know, Chicago or something like that. But he was very, always personal, always had a story to tell, always had a smile on his face and always made people feel good. Always made people feel good. How about that, you know? I found out that he was a Roberto Clemente fan like me, too, so I like that. Hey, what about those...